how to get an external, let's call it traditional audio input into this mixer uh, so that uh, you can hear those sounds from a different computer, for example, in your mixer. So here's how this works. So this is how you bring an external input into your Rodecaster Pro. I'm talking about your phone, your iPad, another computer, a laptop, a console, anything that has a sound output, which is pretty much any device, you can input into the Rodecaster Pro mixer. What am I talking about? So that can all go through, it's, it's a phone icon, but it doesn't just have to be a phone here, okay? And it's a phone icon, and it's an entire dedicated channel that you can use for any external input that you desire. So in today's demo, I've got my computer here, my HP Omen computer setup, and out of the back of this computer, out of the headphones jack, I've got a headphone jack line running in this mess of cables <laughs> up to the back of my Rodecaster Pro mixer. And you see that little cable right back there plugging into the back of the mixer? That's plugging into the headphone jack on the back of the mixer right back there. Okay, or that's plugging into the phone jack on the back of the mixer right back there. And there's an icon on the back of your mixer that looks just like that phone. You plug in a cable into that input on the back of your mixer, and all of a sudden the audio input from that particular source will come into your mixer. So now that that cable is hooked up, how do you get the sound to go through? So the first thing that you're gonna want to do, of course, is make sure that the that particular channel is unmuted. So what you're going to do is you're going to go here to the phone channel. It looks like the phone icon. You're going to unmute that channel. And I recommend with every channel that you're looking to monitor, using the monitor button, the ear icon right here, use that monitor button so you can listen to everything on that channel. I recommend bringing the volume level down when you first set it up, down to the very bottom when you're getting started. Then on the particular computer that you're looking to play something back on, you're going to start playing audio. So what I'm going to do in, in this example, I've got just some music here, as you can see that I'm pulling up on the screen, and I'm just going to start playing some lo-fi beats, okay? And the lo-fi be beats are playing back right now. So now that those are playing back, I'm going to slowly move my slider up on that channel, up, 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 until that audio starts to come through. And if you're not hearing any audio from that channel, that means that your routing is not correct inside of your computer. And you might be wondering, why is the audio not coming through? What the heck is going on? So, if this is a computer issue or if this is a laptop issue, here is how you fix that. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull up your sound settings in your computer. I'm pulling this up right now. And you right-click on the sound icon on your desktop, and you go into sound settings. Then, what you're going to do is you're going to choose here under output, the output that you have plugged into the Rodecaster Pro Mixer. So right now it's going into the wrong output. The output I'm actually using is the speaker output. Now that the correct output is selected, then the sound will start to work. And the reason why I wanted to bring this up for you guys is that this happens all the time when people try to plug in their audio from their computer into a mixer and it doesn't work. Make sure your the correct output is selected. Make sure the output from the device, the correct one is selected so that when it comes into the mixer, you're getting the right audio, and then watch what happens. There it is. All that music is coming through from Spotify through the mixer now. So now I can, using the mixer, I'm going to turn it down just a little bit, but now using the mixer, I can mix music with my microphone simultaneously. Or I could mix a call that's coming in on this computer with my microphone. Or I could mix game audio with my microphone. Any type of audio that you could imagine coming in through an input on the back of your mixer can now be mixed in real time using the Rodecaster Pro. So think about the possibilities here. Four microphones, a USB input, any external input, and a Bluetooth input, all possible here. And that's how easy it is to hook up an external output from any device that you could imagine right on your Rodecaster Pro. And it, with that external device, if you want it to go away, just hit the mute button. And if you don't want to hear it in your headphones, hit the ear button and it goes right away in your headphones and boom, 
you are in control. That's how you plug in an external input. That could be an iPad, that could be a phone, that could be a console, that could be a laptop, a desktop computer, anything at all that outputs audio can go through a, like a physical cable, can go into the back of this mixer just like that. Cool, right?